Pad database part one. Basically, in these two sessions, part one and part two, we are dedicating to Pad databases and other resources as well as few online available tools uh, that is important to CAD. And we all, we all are aware that computer added drug discovery and databases, uh, we know that is a collection of data or is a collection of electric, electronically saved data that can be edited, that can be downloaded and available for maybe local or maybe available globally. Basic definition that may include some, you know, uh, your internet are... is not working fine actually. Voice is breaking. Okay, so I will check it. Hmm. But I connected to violin, so uh, there's uh, no possibility to, you know. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I am in office and sitting in uh, office, so okay. it is connected to violin. So it may be, uh, okay. you know, uh, poor connection at violin, violin to some reason. Yes. Uh, I think if I shift to Wi Fi, then it's. It, it no, will no, be no. Smooth. Continue, continue with it. Yes, yes, yes. So. <clears throat> Yes, we are discussing about the databases. So basically databases, you know, uh, if we, uh, you know, take an example of uh, basic databases, then it can be categorized into multiple category, depends on their nature of Databases that is directly being used as in a computer added drug discovery. So there is a no any you know uh, limitations are listing that yes these are the databases that is CAD database. Usually we call CAD database uh, to those databases that are somehow implement implemented in drug discovery process. So that can be you know. Uh, a primary database, secondary database, or any other things. Usually the CAD database, if we talk about, then the target proteins, maybe, I mean, databases of proteins is a CAD database, maybe. Maybe databases of ligands or some chemical compounds, maybe a databases of computer added drug discovery. Maybe some natural compounds that can be, you know, used as a drug that can also be included in a uh, CAD database list, but few are the databases specific to you know database is only uh, I mean are finding some new drugs. If we talk about the PubChem, so uh, PubChem is another database that is, you know, important uh, listing chemical compounds. But, you know, PubChem is not only listing the chemical compound that is being used as a drug, one, right? So there is a diversity in PubChem. If we talk about some uh, databases, maybe we will discuss this tomorrow uh, because I divided, um, I mean, I listed few of the databases that is being used as a CAD databases. And few of the database I will discuss today, and few will be I will discuss uh, tomorrow in my lecture. So, if you talk about the string databases, maybe today we will discuss string. So string database is basically a database of interactions. String database, so basically, interaction between two different proteins. So, this string database maybe have multiple uses including drug discovery as well, and maybe uh, other than drug discovery.
broad database for an example a uh, few of the database uh, like you know pubmed is a literature database basically so we can't i mean say like that yes literature can be helpful for drug discovery so yes pubmed is also a candidate no we, we can't call it actually there is some technical points that we must you know look into database then only we can call it cad database right so the first database we are discussing today as i mentioned that drug bank right so a comprehensive online database that combine chemical biological and clinical data for drug it provide detailed information on approved drug experimental drug and drug candidates right so basically broad category of drug bank is three category one is approved drug that is already approved by uh, some of the agencies government agencies maybe us fda or maybe indian government or some of the some of the other agencies right another is experimental uh, drugs are the listing of drug or potential ligands gives of molecules that is uh, you know uh, not you know bail validated in experimental experimental lab but somehow by i mean predictions or by assumptions they are listed as a drug candidate i mean we can call it the i mean uh, putative drugs or or maybe an I mean, possible drug we can call it right so these are three categories and one more thing i would like to mention that uh, you know uh, if we talk about the databases then uh, databases nowadays provide a link interconnections between different databases between different tools and different uh, you know uh, other resources as well so for an example we if we are talking about drug bank so drug bank drug bank is a database and as per the definition uh, the role of database is to store the data and make it available for any of the person who is looking for particular kind of data right so but if we talk about the the few of the resources this is and maybe you drug bank so maybe drug, drug bank can provide few of the resources online tools that is helpful in drug discovery few of the literature few of the documents that is important for drug discovery so drug drug bank contain information on chemical structure drug target pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics clinical trials adverse effect and patents basically but as i told you that almost all databases are interlinked with uh, different databases different resources so uh, if we explore data databases like drug bank or any other then uh, we can move from here to there anywhere i mean uh, for an example even we can get link to uh, some other databases as well so these are i mean composite databases they are interlinked to each other and many other informations are available now and updation of database is an important part so day by day all these databases are actively updated maintenance and updation the challenge fund as well so the basic home page of drug bank database is like uh, this that uh, one of the search window is there there you can search uh, about you know, drugs and as well i will show you the i mean website and different uh, for academics for clinical softwares for drugs discovery and other many things for explore you can take many uh, things. 
right? And now next we will talk about Campbell or CH EMBL. CH represent the chemical EMBL. We all are aware that you know, in organization that is uh, you know leading organization in biology sciences. So it's a large scale open access chemical biology database that. Available resource for researcher. And system biology and chemical biology uh, methods and information. If we talk about uh, in detail about this database, then bioactive molecules. This database contains a vast collection of small molecules, including drug, natural products, chemical probes, and toxins as well. Right? And biological target, if we talk about then biological target available in this database are uh, proteins like enzyme receptors, transporters, and ion channels, etc., and nucleic acid like DNA, RNA, etc. Few of the essays are available like biochemical and cellular assay and in vivo assay as well. Clinical trials information is also available on this, this database, right? How CSMBL is used? So the first step is drug discovery. Uh, researchers can use uh, this data database to identify its target. Like uh, I mean, microbacterium tuberculosis and leprosy is not a new disease. Uh, we all are aware about their targets. Many of the targets, their you know, uh, cellular information, their mechanism, etc. So most of the cases, if we are working on uh, microbacterium tuberculosis like bacteria, uh, then we are well aware about the targets. Are we can find it by literature or other software using software. So the main challenge is to finding the inhibitors, the leading candidates, the I mean drug drug, drug candidates. So this database can you know helpful for your drug discovery projects by giving you by providing you lead molecules for your I mean particular targets. Other role is cheminformatics. I mean, this database can be used for cheminformatics analysis, such as SAR activities, structure activity relationship study, and virtual screening, right? System biology, also one of the, you know, uh, area where we can use these databases like chemical biology. Chemical biology is also important area that can be, you know, use this database because ultimately this is about I mean, this database is about chemicals. And a uh, <clears throat> few of the resources link is available there. I will share PPT. So then you can find it, right? And I will back to the home page. Uh, before going to the CHM base, I will show you another uh, database that is, okay, this is another, you know, um, I mean, Home page of uh, CC email database, right? And here we can see that the 2.4 million compounds, 115k, I know, drugs, and different data are available here. Updated data is available here, right? And these are the tabs where we can, you know, go and get our search, right? And basically, this is the search engine available on databases. Usually, databases, you know, um must have some search engine so that we can find easily our you know interest information or interest data right so <clears throat> this is mms inc search this database is basically 
database of chemical molecules having some biomedical importance. But uh, unfortunately, this database is down today. And I tried multiple times, but this is not, you know, supported by uh, any of the system. I tried multiple system as well. I thought that this is, you know, um, this warning is because of my system do not have Java or something. But uh, I found that this is not, you know, up to date because the last version of this database was updated 2008. So probably this is discontinued. But uh, um, I mean, commenting anything is too early. Uh, I will try once tomorrow as well to find out it will be working, right? So it's similar to other databases and uh, So now we will move to directly, you know, uh, databases we discuss. And if time allow, then we will move to another databases like PubChem or something or string databases, right? So first one is uh, MMS INC database. And uh, this is the home page I showed you earlier. And if any of the participant, I will give you time. Um, I mean, you can try this database if it is working on your PCs, right? And after, you know, my demonstration, I will uh, give you time for 10 minutes or 5 minutes for exploring by your own, right? So now we are moving to drug bank database. So this is the, you know, home page here we can uh, search any of the, you know, database, maybe uh, 5FU, I'm searching. 5FU is one of the drug basically used as a anti-cancer drug. Maybe nowadays it is repurposed as um, some of the antibiotic as well, but is not still available as a clinical method. But yes, even I, I had one of the projects on 5FU uh, for treatment of MRSA, anti-drug resistance disorders. But basically, till now, this is an anti-cancer drug. So I search uh, just about uh, five of you. The full name is Chlorono Rasil. And we will get here the many of the information about this. So summary, what is this? Brand names. I mean, which brand name is available for this uh, molecules? Generic name and drug bank assessor number, etc. And backgrounds. Right, background, uh, you know, uh, about their interfaces, about uh, their mechanistic detail, and categories wise, it is a small molecule because it is only, I know, uh, just a, we can see the structure, it's a very small molecule. And another category is approved. So this drug is approved, already approved drug for a cancer treatment. And other information and we can download the structures like uh, 3d structure in a sdf format or pdb format or a smile format we can download all uh, i mean this kind of file format structure of this uh, file so supposedly you are working on you know uh, some of docking or simulation study so you don't need to draw and save your structure just you need to download from here and you can dock this system and you will get all information about here, right? And this tab is important, similar structure. Suppose uh, just to want to check uh, that similar structure is behaving like same activities or toxicity. Yeah, I mean, uh, in a drug discovery process, many times it's happened that, for example, 5FU, right? So maybe 5FU is good in activities, but, uh, you know, um, I mean, higher in toxicity as well. So sometimes it's happened that similar structures are, I mean, uh, uh, small structural changes can, you know, um, make a drastic change, like maybe toxicity reduce and activities is higher or maybe similar or negligible less than in earlier state. So uh, the researchers of drug discovery usually try this kind of, you know, com uh, combinations by similar structures, by uh, you know, manipulating uh, small changes in their structures. So this similar structure tab is again important, right? And synonyms is also available. And these are the external items, right? 
and many other informations uh, you can you know get from left hand bar as well like brand name interactions pharmacology product category chemical identifier references clinical trials and many properties spectra targets i mean you can you can check here the targets of this uh, i mean just a single click away we are getting many information about this right carriers enzymes and all right and as well as the cited articles as well proof of it. so this is another uh, i mean one of the example that we can search another is you know targets so suppose we are knowing that uh, um, any of the five if you target we want to know the target of five yes we can search it here so e450 nadps is a database is a, one of the target and different you know uh, literatures up to the different research and literatures it may be that more than one targets provided to and th that's the part of your research that you verify validate that which one is good but yes you will get an idea about this right and so this is the i mean uh, basic home page of that bank and here we can check the different you know um, clinical softwares as well uh, like we check here so this need to download uh, you know we need to download this you may try this and later on right and for academics and research for academic and research uh, you know uh, if you want to download the structures all of the databases then you can create an id and you can download and you know seamlessly use this uh, database as well and many other information is available in explore options so basically this is i mean easiest to work we are having only four tab and one search engine here and even in the search engine only uh, targets pathways and indications but basically this is i mean better known for target and drug only drug molecules and better working drug only so i will give you break after you know uh, few minutes then you can check it by your own right now come to the another database that is uh, you know ch embl uh, ch embl database right so this database is manually curated database of bioactive molecules with uh, drug like properties and it brings together chemical bioactivity and genomics data to add translation of genomic information to effective new drugs right so manually curated manually curated i mean curation we all know that uh, i mean getting uh, more and more information about the data and creating some interlinking about that for an example some of the chemical molecules so getting all the information about their i mean uh, interactions their um, toxicity their activities and physiochemical properties etc is a curation so curation can be you know curated any any molecules can be curated in a automated mode by using softwares many of the databases is available that that is automated um, software curate the data just to submit the molecule and data will be curated by softwares this is manually means i mean people like us researcher like us curate this data so i mean you know um, when uh, trained manpower work on this curation so obviously this is more you know accurate and this is more logical we can call it exception is always there like uh, now ai based this is available that is uh, very helpful in this kind of task curation etc right so yes uh, here is a search engine uh, i mean this is example file so just we go for the first example and search it so, so this is the you know compound informations about molecules so 
with the same tag name brand name we found the five molecules right and uh, you know we can check by you know, just just clicking one and all so i i just check the first one and we will get all information about these molecules like um, straight so uh, i mean this kind of structures and uh, other you know information like molecular formula molecular bead categories etc we can get here right synonym alternative forms trade names we can find here right and we can search structure as well and search the similar structure like uh, here is the similar structure we can search here so uh, similarity search just searching Yes, we are getting, you know, um, available these, these three types of similar structure available. So again, this is the same application that I discussed earlier that, um, that maybe they are having same activities and higher or lower toxicity, etc. or higher activities and lower or higher toxicity. So, I mean, there is a changes, but the changes of these molecules are somehow similar to this molecule as well most of the cases and yes we can download the structure in a different and yes uh, we can edit here this structure can be edited so suppose and this is the structure and we want to you know edit something uh, we want to add some structure or uh, some of the you know molecules then yes we can add over here right Can, I mean, add something. We can change. And then again, after change, we can search substructure or similar structures. Similar thing to search can be original sequences. Now um, we move to the advanced search. So advanced search is, uh, you know, um, suppose we are not having a structure of any molecules, or we want to draw some structure, then yes, we can draw our own structure, and uh, we can, you know, check the substructure or similar structure. So. This can be done using advanced search. These are the structures similar to picture I you know provided as an input, and these are the similar structure, right? So yes, we can do this. Now come to the you know mm, these are the types having different you know. Uh, I mean, a specific work like malaria inhibitor predictions. So, here on this, we can provide, uh, I mean, we can get information about malaria. So, basically, it depends on the different projects uh, this database provides. I mean, like malaria, neglected, neglected, um, I mean, tropical disease. These are the, I mean, uh, some specific data that we can download from here. You are, you know, available online, and you are approved downloading and uh, others. So we can check this plan as well. We will wait for a moment until this result will come.
about the result analysis and all. So we are not going to in depth of this uh, because uh, it will take some time and even um, you can try this later on as well. So just um, I wish to give you a break, short break of five minutes. Um, go and just visit the home page and try if you can uh, for this, right? And then I will back after five minutes. Okay, so we are coming back and uh, hopefully, you know, all of you explored about uh, this database. Now we are moving to string database. We choose today a string database because, uh, you know, monotonous type of databases we are discussing like, uh, you know, drug bank and uh, CHMBL database. So if we choose popkin, then more or less this database is again similar, uh, you know, so just I uh, move to jump to string database. So this is very interesting. 
this database is very interesting and uh, you know this can add um, some value to your publications as well if you are using this database and your research as well uh, you can find interactions protein protein interactions and uh, you know functional enrichment analysis you can predict here because you know very i mean good database we can so yes, uh, we are moving to this database. I hope uh, I'm audible to all. So we are moving to just search section, right? And uh, search section provide you example many. So we are taking first example uh, by name. We are searching by name and organism, you know, um, either by, you know, your query either by your input they are automatically identify this server this database or you can change right so first of all we will move you know default mode and default mode is e coli so this protein is you know uh, trpa and uh, the default in default mode the organism is e coli right the specific strain of e coli right I'm searching it so this kind of structure uh, we can get here uh, right, so these are the you know uh, interactions of your um, target. I mean, in input molecule protein, right? And yes, it's very interesting. We can move all these structure like a base, and we can change orientations as per our requirements, as per our need. You know, for an example, you know, this is this database provides us very colorful images, so it's interesting. One again many other information is available so yes as per our need we can change the orientations and here we can see that different line having different color different node having different colors and their structures so all these have some meaning it is not random uh, every color coded line have a different meaning and by analyzing this you can you know check the meaning of that like uh, suppose uh, this green line may be uh, showing the information that this interaction is experimentally proved, right? Maybe the red line showing that this is not experimentally proved, this is a predicted information. So this kind of information is there. For example, we talk about then this is uh, this protein is a you know protein uh, having their structure experimentally available in the databases. This kind of information lies here in the color codings and different kind of structures available over here. Right? So uh, these are the informations about node color. Uh, like we can check here that uh, colored node is query protein and first cell of interactions. So our query protein is this TPA. Means the input provided by us is this, this one, right? As coded here. And then the white node is second cell of interactions. So white cell is second cell of interactions, right? Impity node is protein of unknown 3D structure. So our study do not have any impity node and as well as the white node as well. Means this kind of information is not available in our network, right? So it's good if impity node is not there, that means the prediction is good. And field node provides the 3D structure known or predicted. Either it is known or predicted. So all these structures Yes, anyone is asking something? Okay, I have muted it. So, and this kind of color coded in, you know, the different linkages is like from curated database, from experimentally determined database. And basically these lines are called as a A's and this circle, a spherical uh, structure is called as a node in this uh, network structure, right? These are the different color codings. And again, here is the you know, different scores, uh, predicted uh, 
predicted a score functional partner as well and uh, organism is e coli as given there right so these are the information available here we can you know change different uh, you know format of visualization as well and we can change uh, i mean settings as well um, update we can update the settings and the this is important that is analysis part this network tool provide you uh, you know um, analysis of your prediction as well that number of node is 11 number of pages is 28 that is almost you know uh, tough for counting all these nodes and all so this software provide you all information average node degree and all um, is PPI enrichment expected number of pages etc is provided by them right and uh, Biological process means gene ontology information is also uh, available there. We can export uh, different gene ontology information and other information as well. And uh, here, you know, we can export this image as well. So, images can be, you know, exported in these different file format. So, you can check more than 10 file format is available. Uh, I mean, different formats is available that uh, you can export the your images, right? And similarly, clusters and uh, you know uh, more informations you can check many things. This elaborated your uh, uh, network, etc. So um, now come to the another example that we will again take this example of PPA, and here we can change our organism. Right. So, we can change the organism. Yes, we can change uh, the default mode is auto detect. So, by providing the protein name or protein sequence, they, I mean, uh, easily choose auto mode. And uh, either you need to give the organism. Usually, uh, when you are providing a name, for an example, uh, we are providing a name SCH, style choline esterase, one of the protein. So, how software will know that this SCH is from human or you know uh, some mosquito or some other organ? So, when you are providing a name, then you are bound to provide the organism name as well, right? But another option is protein search by sequence. So, if you are providing the sequence of protein then um, you, you may choose auto detect mode but uh, here uh, in the i mean our earlier example we chose the example first and they detected the organ organism so by name only so this is not like this actually uh, because this is uh, i mean uh, inbuilt in uh, example of the software so they know aware about the sequence that's why they choose the organism as well but Usually, when you are providing the name, then you need to choose the algorithm. Either you provide the sequence or you, you may upload from here, right? There is uh, different databases of this. Another example is also available over here uh, by name multiple proteins. You can search multiple proteins, protein families, and all. So, uh, examples is available over here. Go through this, right? So, um, just quickly five minutes and you will explore these uh, softwares, right? And then we'll back, right? Just quickly, we we'll start, just explore this. Okay, so I hope you explored uh, this string database as well. So, if you have any query, then quickly ask me. Now, session is open to query. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Linux is very important for you. And we have to learn Linux also in this course. So, what is Linux, sir? Actually, you know, Linux is a operating system and powerful operating system and free to use and flexible 
and uh, it is very secure and stable system. Have you worked on the Linux system, participants? The basic version. Basic versions. So we need to learn Linux. It is very important for you in the bioinformatician and biologists. And so it runs on multiple hardware platforms. And uh, even handheld device or, you know, on mobiles to supercomputer, uh, is, it's very fast and uh, it you know, requires uh, latest hardware, actually. Or most important thing is it is completely free. It comes under, uh, under GPL uh, licensing and that licensing is completely free for the public. So it is multi-user operating system. Multi-user means uh, many users logged on the same system and work on the same time. And it is multi-processing system. It capable more than processes at the same time and multitasking. Multi uh, ta tasking and multiprocessing in same thing and uh, multi-threading is the its minor version. Actually, it allows different parts of software program to run concurrently. It is also Linux is a virus-free operating system. Even uh, few viruses are written in the Linux, but uh, that uh, not harmful as Windows. So it is more secure than any other operating system. So why for it biologist and bioinformatician? Because majority of bioinformatics and computational biology software developed on the Linux. And uh, that's why we have to learn the Linux system. And most of the pro program runs and launched by the in command window program rather than the GUI window. You know the GUI, GUI system and CLI. CLI means com uh, command line interface and GUI means graphical user interface. So Windows is a completely graphical user, uh, user interface and uh, Linux have both. Earlier uh, Linux was only CLI version, but now it comes uh, in graphical. So it has a versatile scripting and system tools for um, biologists and readily available on Linux customizing for any analysis. And so that's why we have to learn Linux. And Linux, uh, history of Linux. Linux uh, developed by Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson and at and Lab in 1970s. And uh, then in 1975, AT&T Lab started to selling that software. So some users not happy with that. So they have uh, separated two teams. And uh, one is the Unix uh, for commercial version and other one is a uh, uh, open version. Open version called uh, BSD Unix and uh, commercial version in different, different um, in safe. So I'll tell you in. in. And then uh, in 1991, Linus Tor Torvalds, a student of Hellenic University um, started a project free from for interested and he write and constructed a Linux kernel from the scratch. And so that, that kernel is the base of the modern, all the Linux operating system. 
and that's also called Linux. You see, this is the history of the Linux. And here separated for commercial versions. at and one version is uh, Solaris have launched and other company HP uh, launched HP Unix HP and IBM launched the IBM. But Sam code that has developed at at and Lab, Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie. And SGI developed IRIX. And this is the open BSD, Barclay Software Distributions. And uh, generally, we use these softwares. You see, we generally use the Debian based Ubuntu systems in, uh, in the Bioinformatics Lab and uh, and uh, this is the robust and stable and many packages with uh, inbuilt. And other one, SUSE, SUSE will uh, use in the server generally. And Red Hat is uh, commercial, but it cost for supports generally. It uh, free version is called CentOS, but now it is discontinued. And this is the most famous was commercial version in the uh, Linux. Uh, actually, Red Hat is uh, very famous. But uh, generally, Linux is costly, so uh, we cannot, uh, can't use other uh, free. So this is the man who written the Linux kernel. And Linux kernel is not sufficient enough. So other utility and set of programs developed by Rizzi Stallman's. So these Linux kernel, kernel and utilities and set of programs combinedly called Linux. So smooth working for uh, many things required. So other things developed by these. So that is called complete Linux or Linux. Uh, this has many distributions or we can say flavors. So distribution name is Alpha Linux, uh, Arc Linux, Debian, Fedora, Kali, Linux Mint, Red Hat Enterprises Linux, Rocky Linux, Ubuntu Desktop, Ubuntu Server. And it has some specific purpose, actually. Linux Mint is uh, good for the personal desktop and novice users and uh, Ubuntu server is for servers and Red Hat I, as, as I said, it is commercial. And uh, Arc Linux is uh, for advanced users. And Ubuntu also the Debian base. So Debian also has other flavors. And Kali Linux for cybersecurity and Fedora is the one of the version of Red Hat, actually. So these are the Linux flavors and these are some symbols of Linux flavors. And how it Linux works, what is its, its, its structure? You see the uh, in core, there is the hardware. Hardware means CPU, RAM, hard disk, and these all handled by kernel. It interacts on the kernel. Direct user and application can't interact with the hardware. So kernel is the most important, as I said, or it written by Linus Torvalds. And then how can kernel interact with the users? These are the users. You see, DBMS, FTP, mail, application programs. Through these, we can kernel. So this is the set. So, so in Linux, how in uh, user interacts? 
and really this is the cell and user interacts with the machine with the cell or we can say cell as a terminal window command window or the, these four types of cells generally we use base cell born again cells and uh, these are the specific uh, use so you can't understand now but in later when you use the systems you know about in these things so this is the file hierarchy of the linux system where what reside in the system what so this is the main root under the root comes bin directory etc directory lib directory sbin directory user directory home directory so as in windows we see there is a c directory um, c drive d drive e drive logical here these these are the file uh, hierarchy of the system uh, in etc only configuration file resides in programming uh, libraries are in lib mount point if we use any hardware um, pen drive etc it mounts on the mnt directory so this is the opt and user um, applications or user library comes in this uh, degree and uh, mainly user for only user directory is the home directory So when we log on the system, generally it shows start. So first comes the login name, then the password, then comes the command prompt. And command prompt is just like this and just like this. So I'll show you how to uh, see and uh, work on the Linux system. So when we log on, three things here comes. First thing, the username, then the host name of the machine name, then the directory. And here we can type the commands. So this is called the prompt where we can work. So here we can type the commands and com command also has a command name, options and arguments, three things. But generally uh, we can run without the options and argument also. Also we can use pipes this is the many commands in a single single line. So we can use this, this halant is called the pipes. So this command, this command, and this command, three commands run at the same time. Okay, I'll show you. So these type of commands, file handling commands, text processing command, system administration command, process management command, RQL, network, file system, advanced commands. So this is the uh, some categories. So first of all, we see the basic command of Linux is listing the files. Okay, I'll show you how to we can uh, find the commands. You can see my desktop window. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, there is the a putty. You see, when we double click on this, this comes this way. And putty is the utility, and the, it is just an interface to because this is the Windows system, and we can in, uh, log in through the putty use the Linux system. So this is just a small utility we can download from the internet and we can type our server IP or any host IP or any machine site here. 
just I can type one one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot twelve, and when I open it, it just asking login, login name. So I type in the my username. So it asking the password. I'm just logged in. Okay. Uh, font is very small, so I set it. So it is now visible. So I type it clear. Window is clear. Now, now you see there is a three things. One, this is the username at the red, and then the machine name, my server name. And then this, this is the where we can type. Uh, commands pwd just print working directory so it says where you are now current directory uh, means uh, it shows and and ls we type and it shows all the files and directories if we can see in detail then we start ls hyphen l it uh, shows the detailed options. You can see there is a lo lot of files in the in which directory we can see under the home, under the Radhakish. There are these are the files. But you can learn each and everything in this what it says and what mm, what it means actually. So when you work on again and again, then it will clear. So just you type ls, just a file name and directory name. And of these description, ls minus l. You see, there are a lot of things. These are the file permissions. This D shows this is the directory and this hyphen shows this is the regular file. D, D means directory and this is the directory snap, template, videos and this shows this is the file. This, this one and this one. So first character, what is first character shows? This is the show the, it, it is a regular file or directories directory has more directories and files and file is just a file it has only contents so then th these are the permissions permissions of the file so who can read who can write who can execute this file and i'll explain permissions in the letter and you see this is the listing of the okay you see there is a lot of things here so if we use these options ls minus a it means it re, it shows the hidden files also there are also a hidden files uh, so if we press the minus A, then it shows the uh, hidden files. And uh, for the sorting and R or these things, uh, you can see. These are the different, different things uh, you can use. But simple command is ls. ls is for listing files and directories. So this is the change directory. 
So you can see my screen, both the screen, PPT as well as the command window. Yes. Okay. So if we type the this command, what is the CD? CD means change directory. Then we type just CD. documents we can change the directory again we can change and there are nothing in this directory we can again cd dot dot means we again uh, reverse the directory on where we earlier so we can check where we are so if we can cd slash just slash it it means we reach at the root directory here at the root everything we can access through the root and when we type the cd and the build then we can uh, reach our current directory home on uh, users home directory you can type and see directly we can reach our home directory for the su you uh, we uh, use su for the super user or switch the user su and we type the some other name and we can log in with the other user through the our uh, and if we need some more permissions uh, then uh, we needed the root user then we type the thank you then the root so we can reach on the it requires actually password only who have the password then it can access the root files or root access root access is the most powerful root has the all the privileges and uh, actually normal user can uh, work on his own name or own users nobody can you uh, works by the root because it is not good because the one command can destroy all the system if we uh, find uh, and the uh, yeah, wrong command. So, password is the for change the password and ID prints the user's information actually. So, man command is used for manual pages. Actually, some command we don't know the command, then man and the command name. It will show all the details of the command. And ls. Uh, hyphen hyphen help also help the user for the command and pwd uh, already i told you present working directory or print working directory so this is the, this is the how many processes is running at the current we can uh, by ps command processes so these two processes running at the dash and ps so ps ox it shows the uh, detailed information uh, top shows the all the processes running in the system what process ID, who runs currently, own that processor, and processor details, and their memory usage, and their CPU usage, and how much time it's running, and these are all the, this is the uh, 
एडवांस कमांड एक्चुअली एंड कंट्रोल सी और क्यू कैन बी वी कैन एग्जिट फ्रॉम द कमांड एंड अगेन आई एम क्लियरिंग द विंडो क्लियर If we see the free memory of the system, then we type free minus m. It shows the free memory, how it is used and how free. You see, this is the total memory. This is the used memory. This is the free memory, and this is uh, allocated to swap. Swap is. some type of file system cal for calendar and head head and tail is useful if we see a uh, file content and only we see on so five lines then we type head then uh, minus 5 if we uh, want to see the 10 lines of that files then we put the head and the minus 10 and uh, then we can file name which file name we, uh, we want to file one dot txt or anything so this is very useful in when processes in uh, processes are running and we see what is the um, output then it will show And generally, head and tail is the same thing, but that is the last uh, lines, and this is uh, uh, tail for the last lines and head for the first two lines. So, so cat cat used for concatenate the two files or more files, and clear you see uh, used for clear screen. a we want to date then it shows the date and df df shows the disk how disk is utilized and how disk is free actually so you see this is the size and this is the used and this is the available and how many percentage 76 percent is the disk is used these uh, intent is not uh, useful actually mm. but we see this is the more uh, main disk size and if we want to see any specific directory details then command is du df is the for disk space and du for the file space if we want to see here uh, the vmba details vmba uh, you uh, see there is a directory vmba then du uh, minus ss vmba it will show you how many 27 gb of the directory it has the data 27 gb just in single command we can just type them no need to like in windows and uh, another command is unam unam shows the system information unam minus a unam has the many options you see Minus a, minus s, minus n, minus. When you work on and try all the commands, what information shows these commands? Just, just, just uh, and uh, system information. Another useful command is lsp release minus. it will be show you 
which version of operating system is installed and their release number and their code number. It clearly shows the system, operating system in. Okay, there is uh, some more commands. Eco is for something so on the command uh, user. And eco host name. Host. It shows the host name. What is the computer host name? And uh, when we type exit command, this is the exit from the server. So we uh, can't use now. And postman more. And you see there is a more and less command. More command is the, when file is very big. Then when we type the cat command and file name, then it uh, automatically scroll all the file at once. So slowly it page by page open to more command. And copy command. Okay, there is file sc1.ss. If you want to copy then cp and uh, file, destination, uh, source and destination, sc1, you want to make the copy then uh, new name, file, file1.txt, so it will copy it to another name and we want to copy here to there and also use the cp command. Uh, full path needed only, where to copy, one user to another user, and one directory to another. And cp command also used for the, um, copy the directories. And many files uh, at once. So, Move command is uh, move. MV command is for move or rename the file. If you see there is a file, file1.txt, you want to change with the another name, then we can just type the ram.txt. It will move in the ram.txt file. Now there is no file1.txt, only ram.txt is exist. LS, we can see there is this is the file. So this is the basic command. Everyone should know how to make directory and how to copy directory, how to remove the directory. Uh, and you see, uh, if we want to create a directory, then mkdir command. mkdir. created run. If we want to copy file and move and move ram dot txt to slash ram directory. So so it copied to the ram directory. We can change directory into a ram directory and we can see the there is a file called ram dot txt. Okay, again we out from the directory and we want to remove this directory then rm command and the directory run. 
it called it cannot remove because directory has files so if you want to remove the forcefully then f and run Okay, it worked. Actually, it, it requires pseudo privilege, higher privilege, then forcefully remove the because it has a, another file in the directory. And it uh, are represent here the recursive. Recursive means recursively everything in the directory, files or directory, you can remove through this command. R minus R by RAM is the here you can see sudo is the super superpower we can use and this is the command name this is the flags flags here R and F F is for forcefully and R is for the recursively and this is the directory name. Okay, touch is used for the create MPT files. If we can run the touch command, touch file one, file two, file three, many files at once, then we can use file four, touch command we can use ls. We can see there is a lot four files. So, Okay, CHCS is the change your login. First command is the for the um, changing the cells. So we are in the best cell. So and the, this is the best cell. Or generally used, we are using best cell. It is the behind the scene, so you can uh, not understand now. Uh, allies is the command for the, uh, for a specific command, you can uh, made your own name. So if you uh, see ls minus ll command, and if you can create for this command allies, just single something uh, you can, uh, interest then it can be converted to that particular name of this command so we can make a allies a l i a s l s minus l l s This is the format of the command. We can run the command. Okay. Okay. Now you can't, can't type ls minor uh, space minus ll. You just ll type and it will show the ls minus l commands output. Actually, you have created a allies name. Allies name means something uh, command name, uh, something other name of that command uh, so we need not need to type ls minus hyphen ln it will work through ln so it says the allies of the command so uh, whom am i means uh, who is the working or current user of the command uh, uh, the user current user when we type who Okay, it says the three users logged in on the systems. And who am I? It says the who are you? Currently you are using fi uh, firing the command. Then it says that you are the username. So who w 
and who it is the spam command who am i is the uh, print user id or username of the find command is the um, for searching the file locations so we can find then the path and the file name uh, it will search for you the path where files your files if you forget then you can search the actually it is very fast searching just you type the command and it will provide you the output so linux is a fast okay this is the permissions you can understand through this is the octal representation uh, this is binary and this is the um, actor representation if we want to uh, give a uh, file permission then these three permissions are there read write and execute every file has a three permission somebody can read the file somebody can read and write both somebody can the read write and execute permission so we can uh, give the permission through the this systems and ch mode commands uh, so this is very necessary how to understand this because the little bit uh, it is difficult uh, for you uh, so ls minus Okay, three, these three characters shows the user owner, owner permission. Again, three characters is shows the to come so, uh, permissions and uh, three characters shows the uh, other, anything else. So, this is the all nine characters. Read, write, execute, read, write, execute, and read, write, execute. So, there are uh, nine characters and three for the O1, three for the group members, and three for the anything else in the world. So it works uh, as uh, first uh, three shows the read, write, execute. If there is a read, write, execute, then permission is, O1 permission has everything. And uh, here you can see only had read and write permissions uh and execute permission not is there and uh, here you can see group member also can file the read and write there is no execute permission and for others only can read no write and no execute so uh this is very robust uh, file uh, permissions are there nobody can access other files so if we can uh, uh, permit user whatever can access, what file can access, what directory can access, then we can set the permissions properly. Nobody can access your files in the Linux user. Uh, how many users logged in on the SAM system, how many. Uh, so it is very important to um, set the permission and see the permission so uh, we can set the permission through the these characters rwx or through this the number uh, through the number so it will uh, just represent one user's permissions you can see this uh, this is the um, already i uh, tell you directory or not and this is the user and this is the group permissions and this is the for the others. Uh, so you can see read is read, write and execute. Uh, for read, there is a number is four. And write, for there is a number is a two. And execute, there is number uh, is one. So when uh, three permissions are there, all the permissions are there, then four, Two plus one, it will say one. So 
if permission is there is a permission seven then everybody can access the file or direct if file uh, if permissions on the read and write then four plus one only read and execute and again you can see there is a read and write then this is the four plus one we can add and this 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 is the nine character and this symbol is just seven five five so it represents sam as the character so if we can say we can, we can say um, uh, we want to file access everybody then we uh, we can permit then 77 to the file or in nine uh, characters we can say read write ex execute read write execute read write execute read write execute so 777 or rwx 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 so i think you are uh, mm, some we can set uh, the file uh, permissions or you can see how the so this is the command changing permission ch mode through this command we can change the permissions of files and directories and even we can change the ownership of the files and through the chgrp command we can change the ownership command so uh, this is a command for the set the permissions of particular file so okay we we, we um, make a file just uh, ls and we say see there is a file as c2 dot txt there is a some command okay some two three commands so if we want to we see the uh, what is their permission ls minus ln so there is a permission of the file is user oven has everything if we remove the permission sudo ch mode minus x c now see there is no permission to execute this file we have removed the permission of execution permission if we want to uh, give permission to all the users then we just type sudo ch mode then the what permission we want to give so we want to give plus 777 everything everyone can access this file can execute or right as c sudo when command is successfully run then it goes to next line or if fails then shows the error so if uh, it run the command and we will see the just see so you see there is a all the columns are something there read write execute read write execute and read write execute so every everyone can access now this file so this is the command how we can change the permissions and okay you see there is the to the windows to the linux we use the put utility uh, this interface but when we uh, logged in on the linux just through sss command we can move on the another machine we just type the sss and uh, the username and then we type the another machine's ip 192.168.168 
वन बाई टू सो इफ मशीन इज दउन इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली मूड फर्स्ट इज आस्क द पासवर्ड एंड इट लॉकडाउन द बट राइट नाउ दिस मशीन इज द नॉट कनेक्टिंग एक्चुअली दिस मशीन इज ऑफ सो जस्ट द एस एस एच कमांड टू एस एस एच वी कैन लॉग इन फ्रॉम लीनक्स नो नीड एनी यूटिलिटी फ्रॉम द लीनक्स टू लीनक्स जस्ट एस एस एच कमांड इज सफिशियंट एंड एस सी पी कमांड इज द जस्ट एस सी पी मीन सिक्योर कॉपी बट इट वर्क ऑन द मशीन टू अनदर मशीन If some file we want to copy another machine, then we we want to uh, use the SCP command. Then source source address complete address complete address means just like this username and their host name and then then the file which file you want to copy file file. okay then again the where to copy so full path required both the source and the if we our file is here just here this this one sc2 dot ss then just this this one is the source address because file is here and target address is the machine name and username and the path in which directory it will put so so it will copy it machine to machine through the scp command okay these are some advanced command what is advanced command advanced command actually uh, normal user uh, don't have these uh, privilege uh, reboot of the machines or power of the machines actually uh, nobody can um, uh, without the permission can the uh, run these commands so this is the power uh, advanced command uh, okay that's all.